What's going on everybody? Today we have some stuff that we're gonna be installing. Um, it's going to be the Evotech uh, quad lock mount because this, I don't really like this right here. The Evotech radiator guard. I bought the spools or whatever they're called, the frame slider things. They didn't have them in stock. They refunded me and didn't tell me that they were gonna get any back in. So yeah, that sucks. And then this, I have it, but they didn't send me an adapter. So I'm waiting on that. It's coming today and then we will finally get rid of uh, it's not that it's bad, but we're going to put the, the smoked one and get rid of the these finally. Um, so that should look good, assuming it shows up today. Who knows, but we'll see. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get on into it. So here's the mess of the uh, quad lock uh, clamp mount thing. Came with the actual quad lock, which is kind of cool. I don't need that, but cool. Uh, the radiator guard looks cool. I have the same one on my, my Trident. And then... This may have been pointless, but the Ducati Spacer throttle guide thing, it's the tiniest little thing. It was like $10, but this is a brand new bike, so they didn't really have it, but apparently it gets rid of that. So we'll see. I'll update you. But yeah, just wanted to show the uh, parts that I have. Don't mind that messy workbench. So we're always using it. Okay, uh, you're going to have to forgive me. I still don't have a tripod, but you're going to first start by loosening these two bolts on the bottom. Probably can't do this one-handed, so uh, give me one second. Okay, and then you're going to go this little washer thingy, spacer, then the bracket, then this, and you're going to make it point down, I believe, like that. Maybe. Actually, this one, this is the other side. I'm goofing. Let me look at the thingy. It's, uh, yeah, uh, down. Yeah, I was right. No, I wasn't. Yeah, up. Okay, so left is the up one. Looks like that. Let's go put that in. Okay, remember the washer? It's going to sit on like that. And this will just screw on in. It's a six millimeter. All right, Mr. Boy has joined us today. What's up, dude? Scared of the camera. Who are you camera shy for, dude? So am I. Don't worry about it. So yeah, uh, this one goes in here like this. Remember the spacer goes underneath that. And then I'm gonna put the other side on and report back because still don't have a tripod. Okay, we have the second bolt out. Those are the stock ones. Then we're gonna take this cannon, buddy, relax. And just simply remember, wash her first. Said it like four times, but you get it. And then this is gonna go in just like that. Okay, I'm gonna tighten this on up and report back to you. Okay, um, I've taken the quad lock off of the handlebars. And now, before you do anything else, I guess it wants you to put these two black bolts and put these two pieces together. This top part comes off. It's where the quad lock actually slides into. And then this mounts to the actual clamp. So there's that, which is always fun. And okay, I'm gonna go loosely put it together and walk you back through it. Cool. Okay, so it's mounted, um, but I have not tightened these because I want to make sure that these were good so it was all lined and stuff. But pretty sure that that's how that goes. I don't, I wouldn't see it coming down more, although I suppose you could. Let me make sure that that's, that looks correct, right? Let me look at that. But I mean, that, yeah, these are not tight yet. Let me up, who knows? Okay. Okay, that was correct. So this is correct. Um, now I'm just going to tighten these down. I'm gonna figure out the exact torque um, specification for this. Um, but time being, just gonna tighten these down. And then <clears throat> after this, we will put the actual mount on this part and then tighten these two bolts up and I'll show you what it looks like on the phone. So just give me one second. Uh, so yeah. I just installed the quad lock as you usually would. I have the vibration damper, which kind of looks funny because it's so far, it sticks kind of far out, but whatever. So yeah, these are still loose so that I could still kind of move this to figure out where I like the phone. But that was, it takes practice. I'm assuming that if like that, hold on, let me get on the bike. Like that, yeah, so just like that, I could still fully see the screen Tilt it up like that, reroute that, but works good, I guess. Cool. All right, let's move on to the EvoTech, the harness that I need for the taillight. So, I'm gonna put this on first. 
than the tail light because that's a pain. I'll show the best that I can. <clears throat> no 10. Uh, no 10. And this is all jumbled. That's a 13. That's an 11. That's a 12. 11, 9, 8. Now I'm pretty good at putting these back. So I'm not going to say it was me. But unbelievable. Let's go Bob out. So I got a mini adapter. I, I bat it. Yeah, but mini adapter and then that, and then it's on a mini guy. So apparently we just have to take off or loosen, I guess loosen the actual, I'll just come over here and show you. So it would be this and this. And then I think it just slides on. Um, it came with like two pads, like I think silicone rubber pads. So I gotta figure out where these go. I'm gonna assume they're like in here, but yeah, let's look. Um, what? Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, boom. Right here. So, locate this circle. And I guess put them like that. So that it doesn't rattle up against the radiator. That makes sense. Oh, apparently you're supposed to have four of these little squares. I only have two. But I own an Audi and Volkswagen. So, I have felt tape for dash rattles. So, I'm just going to use this. Should be totally fine. Got the EvoTech uh, radiator guard on. Um, yeah, so they didn't give me two of those sticky pad things. So I put one, I put both of the rubber ones up here and on the top on the right side, or left, I guess, if you're looking that, whatever. Uh, and then I put like foam tape behind here. I don't think it's ever gonna hit, but yeah, who knows? I, maybe I'll take it off because I don't know if that's, I don't know how hot those get. I'm going to assume hot, but it's also, there's a fan, so who knows? But yeah, no, I think it looks awesome. I have the matching one for my Trident, too. So yeah, I'm building two of the same bikes, essentially. No, I mean, kind of, but okay. Now, taillight. I'm going to go after, I'm going to get after the taillight. So I'm going to get it stripped, make sure it works this time and report back. I took apart the entire rear end of the bike again. Um, just wanted to show from the start. So off, right, it's your running light. So before it didn't, it didn't do this. And I tried repinning this and, and the tail light, it didn't work. Um, so, but now, right, if I squeeze the brake, does that, which is awesome. I really like that, it gets people's attention. And the cool part, that's so that would be your right and then left. So seems to work good. There's no errors on the dash, which is perfect. So now I'm going to go ahead and dismantle this entire thing again. <sighs> and uh, yeah, I'll try to get whatever I can the important parts, but it's it sucks. <laughs> Okay, so now that the entire rear end of the bike is apart, so uh, it's so, so much. Um, I did this like three days ago, so for me, super quick, the tail tidy is to take, sorry. Huh, the tail tidy is bad to take off because with the motor dynamic one, you have like washers and bolts, or I guess nuts, and uh, yeah, so I have to dig those all out from there. I'll do that after, or in a second, but basically it's, this bolt, this bolt, this bolt, this bolt, this bolt, this bolt, two on the side, right? And then you have, um, take the seat off, you take those cowls off, three bolts on each side. Um, it's, it's bad, it's bad, but it's kind of one of those things that like, you figure out as you go, I trying the best to describe it, but I need to buy a tripod so that I can kind of talk, but it would be like, a, it would be a long video. But yeah, uh, once you get this side pretty much done, it's all it is. Two bolts, that's it. Two bolts, two nuts, I'm sorry. No, yeah, bolts, two bolts, two five mils, and the tail light pops out. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that, and yeah, we'll get back. See, that's it. All that to just, it's, 
Oh man, it's bad. Okay, um, yeah, pretty much have it all installed now. I just need to put the tail tidy back on, which is a pain because of these. But yeah, this is all done, so one, two, three, four, and then this weird little thing. This thing comes out, and then uh, two fives on the side, one and two, one, two, three, four, and then this will, everything will come back, or it'll pop off. Um, you have to take the tail tidy off pretty much or the tail whatever if whatever you have you got to take that off first um because this bottom piece with the tail light won't come out forgot to mention now i get to take off the uh yeah turn signals this is terrible bad messy but yeah okay now let's go ahead and get to it Okay, I'm sure you saw kind of an Amazon package. Tail tidy is all the way in, which is good. These bolts kind of suck, but um, yeah, no. So that's good. Took the indicators off because now they're in the tail light. Just looks pretty clean in the back. I like the way that looks. I'm going to wire everything in, test the tail light, <laughs> and hopefully we are all good. So give me one second. Okay. Okay, uh, so everything's wired. Now we're gonna turn the key, make sure it works, hopefully. Okay, brake light's a good thing. It's a good thing. Excellent, it's the right brightness to yesterday, which is, mm. okay, turn signals. Right, left, ha oh, ha, sweet. Let me see how this works. Yeah, that looks awesome. I was worried the smoke, you wouldn't be able to see it, especially yesterday when I turned it on, it was like super dark. That. That's cool. Yeah, I like that. I'm just gonna wipe my bunch of fingerprints off. So okay, I'm gonna buckle the bike up and Okay. That's what the hazard's on. It's pretty cool. I think it's kind of a lot more noticeable than the indicators on the side. Now now it got me thinking that this needs to be the one that goes like that. I think that would be super cool, but yeah, so okay, so that's all done which is sweet. I think it looks really good. Let's do it without. Yeah. I mean, it's flickering because LEDs on a camera, but not flickering in real life. And it's nice and bright. I think it looks awesome. Very stoked on that. I'm glad that I got it figured out. I didn't have that harness, that adapter from the triangle plug to the, uh, <clears throat> the OEM, this over here. I didn't have the part that connected to this because this is different for 2024. Um, but they sent it second day air, super nice of them. Shout out to Moto Dynamic for sure. But yeah, that's killer. I was worried that the smoked wouldn't look as good as I thought it would, but um, I'm glad I did this one instead of the clear. I think clear is cool for like the red and yellow bikes, but for this one's just, it's nice. Okay, uh, throttle spacer did not work. Uh, there, there's some change that I guess they made, but does not work in the 2024 even though ducati spacer says it does if it looks like that internals are different so it's not a bother it was like ten dollars fifteen dollars so uh, just to sum everything up the evotech radiator guard the quad lock um it's not a stem mount but it's a uh clamp yeah let's go handlebar clamp mount which i like i think it looks really good you sit about like here so i angled it down a little bit so that if the sun hit it it doesn't it won't like beam me We'll see, I might have to adjust it even more. And then, the best part. The best part, the tail light. I'm super happy with it. It's a lot brighter than I thought it was gonna be, which is a good thing. And um, it gets rid of the indicators on the back, which I like. I'm probably gonna end up doing the Stealth one um, by Moto Dynamic and maybe sell this one, or if anybody wants it, just let me know. Um, another thing that I did, a couple of videos ago, I talked about um, the uh, exhaust and what I was going to do. Well, uh, I did something. I found some lightly used uh, 2022 headers on eBay. And then the exhaust that I got, I'm going to do it. Exhaust I got, you're going to have to wait. 
um, I should have it on next week. Everything is shipping um, from within the States, so maybe that will tell you. But um, I'm really excited. Um, there was a guy on Facebook that did this same thing, different exhaust, but um, confirmed that the 22 headers work. I just don't want to tune the bike yet. I mentioned that in another video. So basically that will allow me to uh, bolt a slip on onto this uh, good old steed. And I know the header design is a little bit different. I think that like this part is thinner on the new ones or on the old ones, but it shouldn't be that big of a difference. Apparently, if you just let the bike idle for 15 or 20 minutes when you do that, um, it'll relearn things. But yeah, overall, happy with the little things that I did. Um, I may go on a ride today. It's kind of cold, which sucks, but um, yeah. Okay, I think it's on. Is it on? It is on. All right. So I ended up going for a ride, even though it looks terrible outside but that's fine. We're gonna go for a quick one, just cause I wanna feel uh, how the new seat is. So I adjusted my clutch and I have the tall seat on now. So let's see how this feels. All right, so far the tall seat is pretty damn comfy compared to the slow seat. You know, I changed the setting on the camera when I was recording um, the first part of this video. The mic to the back, but I hope that if I plug the mic in, that it just automatically does that. I, who knows, I guess we'll find out when I edit this later. Um, it's cold. It's not terribly cold though, it's 58, it looks colder than it is. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, quite an eventful day for the uh, street triple here. Um, the radiator guard. Radiator guard, the uh, uh, quad lock, and the tail light, which can't see two of the three things, but they're there. Oh man, even the seat on bumps feels better. I like it, I like it, I think it's good. I think it's a very good little purchase. Um, I adjusted my clutch the other day, so that it kind of, uh, engages later. I like it. I like it so far. Um, let's see. I'm just gonna go on a quick ride today. I'm gonna get stuck behind a car, <laughs> you know. I'm changing my, uh, YouTube name to, a uh, guy that gets stuck behind cars in Oregon. That would be good. Maybe I'll go, I'm gonna go up, this is Thompson. I'm gonna go up Thompson, make a left on the skyline, and then I'm gonna go down Springfield. I think I'll do that. It's cold, I'm wearing a mesh jacket, uh, but I do have a sweatshirt underneath, so that's kind of a benefit. Man, the seat. All right, if anybody cares for a lowered seat, let me know, uh, I will sell it, very cheap. Hey, look at that, not stuck behind a car. Um, I am, Let's see how many miles I have on this thing so far. Uh, 343 miles, so more than halfway to the 600 and when you change the oil and do a bolt check and uh, you could pay Triumph, I guess, money to uh, do said things, but a guy like me likes to turn a wrench. Cringy, but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do that. Um, see kind of what oil everybody puts in this thing. I personally really like Motul. Um, or Liqui Moly. I run Liqui Moly in my Audis. Uh, I run Motul in my old Subaru. And I never had any claim with those oils. I don't even know what kind of oil's in here and I'm just beating the hell out of this bike. Uh, it deserves it. It wants it. Uh, damn, it's cold. But uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I kind of angled the uh, quad lock down a good amount actually, uh, so. If I, it, I see the display before I see my phone, which is was kind of my goal, that not to get uh, blown out by uh, sunlight when it's above me and hits me. 
Oh, that feels a lot better. Hey, thanks for seeing me, buddy. I would enjoy. Yeah, the seat seat's much better. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I keep bringing it up, but I know that there are people out there like me who need people to help them get something off the top of shelf at Albertsons. That'd be me. Um, so maybe you think this bike's too tall, and it is pretty tall. I'll tell you what, it is tall. But rest assured, at five five, um, yeah. I can't like flat foot the bike, so don't think that. Um, but, I mean, other than that, it works out. I can't wait for warmer weather. I just I'm sick and tired of this cold, gloomy. I know, I know. I chose to live here. I moved from sunny California to live here. That's my choice. But, it's greener here. Air's better, people are nicer. Uh, overall, man, it's Oregon. Plus this. Hey, truck, I hope you see me. Oh, Nelly. I was gonna wave to people when they see me. Like I held up a whole intersection. Ha ha. I matter. Ooh. Um, these tires are pretty good. I haven't ever uh, ridden a bike with tires that are like this, uh, but. I think they're great. Probably wear out pretty quickly the way I ride. Front that or the rear that is. What about these manholes? Okay. Uh, I want to touch on the exhaust yet again. I feel like all my videos are repeats, but might as well. Um, I did order uh, a complete exhaust. You heard me right, a complete exhaust. Um, not a full header back, but a um, basically stock uh, 2022 headers uh, that allow for slip-ons and, um, uh, and an actual slip-on. Uh, I'm very excited for it. I think that this bike needs an exhaust. The stock doesn't sound bad, but I'm young, dumb, and stupid, and I want to hear it. I want to be loud and suck my cars again. I want to be loud and I want to, you know, have fun. Um, it probably won't be as obnoxious as the Trident, but uh, eventually maybe it will be. If I decide to go with decat headers and a tune later down the line, which is an option. Uh, not sure what I'm going to do yet. I need to stop spending all this money on the bike and just ride it. I find myself doing that a lot with um, new things that I get, whether it be cars or motorcycles or whatever, right? Even computers. Um, as soon as I like get a base, right? All I want to do is build. I just want to get the things that I know I'll enjoy, the things I know that will make it better, um, and just, you know, get after it. I like tinkering with things. I like taking things apart, learning how they work, putting them back together. It's just how I've been since I was a wee chap. British bike stuff, so, you know. Um, yeah, who knows? Man, I just... So I gotta stop. I have to... I'm sorry, my head's in a million places right now, but... Mm, yeah, it's fine. We're good. Um, I just want sunny, man. I know that it's been a couple sunny days. You've seen a couple videos, but... Um, yeah. I think like 75 to 80 right now and sunny would be... I wouldn't, I wouldn't get off this thing. I wouldn't get off this thing. A ride like this, like, as soon as I leave my house, I'm on my way home. You know what I mean? But like, I like when it's sunny and I'm not cold and I have no destination, no time limit, and I can just ride. I think those are the best. Those are truthfully the rides that I live for because you don't have to think about anything other than riding. Right now, I'm just thinking about how cold I am, even though it is 52. It's 52 up here. So it's 58 down the mountain, 52 up here. So six degree difference. Um, yeah, uh, so I'm on my way home. If that's how you want to look at it. I don't like looking at it. That's pretty much like glass half empty mindset, but eh, it is what it is. And I'm stuck behind cars. Story of my life, right? 
26. Going 26 miles an hour. It's like people think they're gonna die. Well, maybe the truck. That thing's probably not built for speed. You know what I'm saying? It's not built for speed. I'm built for speed. I can go fast. Even though I don't go fast. I watch my footage and I think that I ride really, really slow when watching TV. Or not TV, sorry. When I watch the video, I think I ride really, really slow. Um, but I specifically shoot in 24 frames to give it that motion blur, especially with the um, uh, uh, ND filter, <laughs> to give it that motion blur so it makes it look like I'm riding faster. I'll be honest, I'm, I'm just being honest with you guys. Um, yeah, I don't think it, I, like, I like, when you see turns, like I'm going like 30, and like 30 doesn't sound like it's fast. Like right now I'm going 30 and I could, you know, have a cheeseburger and, you know, a fry and, and chill out, but, well, 30 in a turn, I guess. It depends on, on the turn, and you guys obviously aren't there, and it's the super view, so things look a little distorted. I'm leaning quite a bit. None of that matters. The fact is, is that I feel like in the videos, I go slow, but it feels so much faster in life. And maybe it's just me. I hope none of these cars turn. It doesn't look like it, because we're gonna go downhill, which you know I hate, but we're gonna do it for the sake of not being stuck behind cars. I just need to watch out for, oh, grass. Or not grass, rock and water. Because there's always water here. My way home. <clears throat> it's raining. It didn't say it was going to rain. I, it looked like it was going to rain. It didn't say it was going to rain. It's just annoying. It's just so tired of it. It is May. Get after it. Get after it. Alright, now it's goodbye.